Yo, Nikki, look, okay? I had spent like the past two hours trying to decide how do I respond to this, you know what I mean? How do I respond to your video, you feel me? Huh? Now, I want to just give you a thank you and say, damn, you stood up for me more than anybody else, you know what I mean? Like, everybody who stands up for me, like my fans, friends, whatever, they ain't standing for me like you did, okay? All I could say is I had to wrote down a whole ass script because I'm going to keep repeating myself if I just, you know, don't write a script. And it's a lot faster if I write a script down and just tell y'all off the script that I wrote, you know what I mean? So, I had been thinking about what to, you know, what to write and what to say for like the past two hours, you know what I mean? And so, thank you, Nikki, so much, you know what I mean? It's like, really, you defended me and you really you surprised me, yeah? I even shared the link with my family, I shared your YouTube video with my family. Because I was like, look, somebody's actually, what the hell? That looks so crazy. I'm sorry, I just got distracted by the chain that I'm selling. I don't know why, somebody looks like I'm crispy, yo. Let me just show it right now. I'm gonna just show it right now, it's based on my jewelry. The video is based on my jewelry anyways. Um, if y'all do want to see the video that I'm responding to, the video is in, my, in the description, so you can go and look at Nikki's video. But yeah, here's the chain, huh? It's like, yeah, it's very beautiful. A lot of people will be like, oh, well, it's not sparkling much on camera. Yeah, you're looking through the front camera. Fun fact, the front camera actually has worse quality than the than the back camera. So if I do record with the back camera, it does sparkle a lot more. Huh? It also really depends on the lighting. So, yeah. Because right now, it's kind of dark in this room, yeah? You know what I mean? So, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, I had never really, like, knew anything, you know what I mean? Like... Not doing anything. I didn't know how to how to respond to it. Like you defended me more than anybody. It's like what I've been saying. You know what I mean? And so you know. But yeah, you mentioned about report uh, the haters reporting my videos, and all I can say is yeah, they constantly report me. You know what I mean? It's like it really does not help you in any way. Reporting me is not going to get you a job. Reporting me is not going to send you straight to a police station and say, hey, you know, you're reporting this guy. We're going to go ahead and, and set you up a police job. You know, because the reporting is way different than actual police reports. Huh? Or any type of report, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. It's not going to help you get a damn job. It just shows how low of a life you're living. You know what I mean? It's like... The haters are getting so damn t so damn bad that I even had one of my haters ha try to hack my website. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, my website almost got hacked because of some dumbass hater. He literally was trying to use a stolen credit card to get free products. And he was also trying to, uh, he was trying to take down my website by deleting it and banning my account on both Stripe and my Big Cartel account, which is honestly just fucked up because... How is that going to ever help you? You're just ruining a business, huh? You know? And the weird thing is, I don't know how the hell he was ever trying to do all this shit. Because the thing is, my website's encrypted with 128 bits. 128 bits is pretty fucking strong. Especially because ProtonMail and, you know, Brave Browser, they use that much encryption. That's fucking strong, you know what I mean? And so it's like ridiculous. How the fuck do you manage to hack like that? It really don't make any sense to me. It shouldn't even be, it shouldn't even be possible. Because it's also like then, it's like I found his Instagram, the guy was trying to hack my website. And so because of the guy who's trying to hack my website, I purposely shut down the website to protect all my customers. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that, you know, nothing happened after I shut down the website. And I, I shut it down right before anything could happen. And the thing is, it's like I already solved the problem, you know what I mean? I already fixed the website and everything like that. But I'm not going to put the website up just right now. Because I want to put it up later whenever I feel like the time is right. <laughs> Excuse me, I burped. I don't know, I keep burping, even whenever I don't eat. If I don't eat, or I eat something, or I drink, it doesn't matter, I just burp. You know, it doesn't matter if it's just air, you know what I mean? It's like, I can't stop burping, that's why I keep pausing my videos whenever I'm recording them. So this one, I'm kind of editing it raw, because it'd be a lot faster to speak than just doing a bunch of clips and clips and clips. It's just, you know, ridiculous, huh? So yeah. Um, and then, you know, talking about why social media is getting reported and stuff like that, the only one that they might have not reported was my uh, Twitter. You know what I mean? They might have reported my Twitter, but the thing is about the Twitter is that I don't think anything has taken in effect. Um, other things being is that I, I forgot to tell y'all that the hacker, I found his Instagram, and all he did was post about drugs, money, and scamming people. It's just ridiculous. It's like make your money the legal way. not Don't make your money illegally. 
Like, bro, be for real. You don't see me making my money illegally. Like, I'm legit having jewelry over here. How is jewelry illegal? Jewelry ain't illegal. But scamming people is illegal. So, yeah. You need to quit your shit. Get your life right, you know? It's like, if you're so mad that you can't make money, guess whose fault that is? It isn't my fault. That isn't anybody else's fault. That's your fault. You make it your problem. You know what I mean? You make it your problem to not make money. It's like, there's so many different things in the world that you can do to make money, but you decide not to. Okay? And as much as this sounds disgusting, but there is an actual thing where you can sell samples of your shit to the doctor, and you can make a lot of money per month. And, you know, I've been thinking about doing that because it's like, you know, it's, you know, it's called a stool donor. You know what I mean? You can look that up. You can make a lot of money being a stool donor. And so if I do that, I can invest that money into my business and I can become even bigger. And, you know, it's just a lot more easier to make money that way as well. I have tried so many different ways of making money, such as, you know, editing people's videos, making profile picture art for people, making logos, making websites, all that kind of, all that kind of shit. But the thing is, nobody ever wanted to buy from me. Nobody ever wanted to buy any of that, you know what I mean? So instead of doing that, I started selling jewelry because I figured, hey... I feel like I need to sell jewelry just in a way I feel like it, you know what I mean? Because jewelry is just so nice, you know what I mean? Like this gold chain right here, this is actually real gold, not just some plated bullshit. And anybody who does say it's fake, it's like, I don't have to really prove shit to you, but it's whatever. I'm literally, I'm replying to this video about Nikki telling, talking off to the haters, huh? Telling off to the haters, whatever, huh? But yeah, there's the 10 karat gold marking on there, huh? The stamp. See, the thing is, with fake gold, it's not going to be shiny like this one. You see what I mean? Like, look at it. It's shiny, yeah? Like, even right here, it's very shiny, yeah? Real, like, gold is going to be, like, that shiny. If it's fake gold, it's not going to really be shiny much, huh? It also might be, like, a dullish color, huh? Now, usually, regardless of the carat of gold, if it's, like, you know, an actual gold chain, regardless of the carat, it will be a bright color. So, for example, 24 carat can be more orangish color. And then the 10 karat is more of a lighter yellow color. You know what I mean? But yeah. And then so, what is it called? Talking about the people reporting my account and stuff like that. I also blocked the, the hacker on Instagram in case he does view my Instagram. But the thing is, like I was saying though, they were reporting my, my social medias and stuff like that. I had made a business YouTube account so I could post my ads on there, right? The first few ads that I post on there, it immediately gets reported. Like, that's how serious these haters are getting. You know what I mean? It's like, what is their problem? And then that YouTube channel got immediately banned. So it's just ridiculous. Like, bro, leave me the fuck alone. It's like, it ain't my fault you can't make money. You know what I mean? It's like your fault. You're the one who made the problem. So let me see here. Not only that, I don't know if I told you all, but the hacker was literally trying to use a stolen card. I think I told you that. Um, what is it called? And then, what is it called? Nikki started talking about my 18 karat gold chain and saying that, yeah, nobody has ever, nobody has proof that they bought it instead of it's real gold. Because really, they don't. They don't have any proof. How can you say something is fake without actually physically having it? You can't just say it's fake by looking at it. You want to know why? Because look, I bet if I were to freaking, I bet, where is it? Hold on, it's right here. Look, I bet if I were to show you this right here, you would be like, this is plastic. Meanwhile, it's actually not. It's silver. You know what I mean? That's actually silver. Now, another thing being is talking about silver. People think it's so cheap, but it's like you're not paying for the only the silver. You're paying for the plating, if there is plating. You're paying for the 7.5% of the metal that's in the 925 silver. You're paying for the stones and all the clarity and color and cut and the shape and all that, you know, the carrot. You're paying for all that, you know what I mean? Now, this ring, I originally was selling it for $300, but I'm selling it for $75 because... It is D color VVS1 Moissanite with, you know, excellently cut. And don't let anybody tell you this. Don't let anybody say that, you know, 3EX cut is different. Is Don't let anybody tell you that 3EX cut is the same as EX cut. Because it's not. EX cut is just a regular excellent cut. 3EX cut is triple better. It's better than the average excellent cut. And you really want 3EX. But the thing is, excellent cut itself is pretty nice. Okay. And so, yeah. What is it called? But yeah, they don't have any proof to just say that my gold chain is fake. Because, like, really, you did not buy it. And if you're going to you're gonna have to say, if you say that you bought it, I want you to prove it. Because the thing is, it has to be the exact width 
of 4.2 millimeters wide has to be the exact like length of 20 inches and has to be the exact same carrot with my brand on it. If it does not have my brand on it, I'm not trusting you. If it does not say 750 AU on the stamping instead of 18 carat, then your shit is literally not mine, okay? The only way I know if you buy it is because you have to email me and let me know. Do you want to buy it? And I'll send you the link to buy it. Because the thing is, it's not through the main page of my website. It's through custom orders. And so because it's custom orders, it requires a link to access it. So yeah, that's the only way I know you actually bought it or not. And plus, anybody who buys anything is going to get a receipt regardless. Regardless if you want a receipt or not, you're getting a receipt. You have to like, every single time you order something, you're getting a receipt, an order tag, and all that kind of shit. And the thing is, if you're going to say that my jewelry is fake or that you bought something from me, how come you didn't post a review on my website? Because you didn't buy anything. The only way people can leave reviews is if they buy something and then they like, you know, leave a review. Because you have to buy something to leave a review. That's how I do it. I do that to, to avoid false misinformation, defamation, and, you know, hateful behavior and all that kind of shit. You know what I mean? I do that to avoid all that. And so, the thing is, if you were to make an actual 24 karat gold chain exactly like this one, it would only cost you like $1,000. And I tried telling y'all, these the what is it called? The industry is a scam. But y'all are always saying no, 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 it's not. It's because y'all are stuck in the box. Y'all just just y'all like Nikki said, y'all are you God, I cannot speak. You deserve to be stuck in the box if you're not gonna believe someone who's actually telling you the truth. Because the average market price for a twenty four karat gold chain is more than more than two thousand or three thousand. You see this right here? I did not really know much about jewelry whenever my stepdad got me this chain. And so this is 10 karat gold chain, and it's like the average price is like 500 or 1,000, sometimes even more than that. And so me selling an 18 karat gold chain for lower than the average price, lower than the 10 karat average price, is just insane. It just shows it really is a fucking scam. You know what I mean? Everything that you see by the industry is a fucking scam. Diamonds are a scam. You know, what is it called? Gold is a scam. And the reason why you see things that are cheap like silver, look at this. So silver is basically the same thing as gold, just yellow, you know what I mean? But why is gold more expensive in a way? It's just ridiculous, you know what I mean? And that's all it is, is color. It's literally the exact same thing, but they're both soft. You know what I mean? They're both soft metals, they're both fine metals. Silver is gold, gold is silver, it's the same shit, you know what I mean? They're both very similar. Just like moissanite and diamonds, they're both similar. But the thing is, moissanite is better than diamonds. And the thing is, with... Moissanite, people believe that diamonds is better, but it's not actually true at all. And I see I've been actually recording for 12, 12 minutes, wow. But yeah, it's like, it's not true at all, you know what I mean? And so, people say that my 18 karat gold chain is fake. It's like, I've already provided pictures to show you that it's real, okay? I've talked to my seller, and you know, the seller has 20 years experience, has certificates, has, you know, um, what's it called? Has the machine, they, the analyzer, and the analyzer is better than the scratch test acid gold test. Because the, the scratch test where they, you know, use acid to test the gold, that shit only does the top layer, not the entire piece. If it's the entire piece, then yeah, the analyzer is going to be more accurate, you know what I mean? So if it says in the analyzer, 75% gold, then guess what? It is 75% gold, you know what I mean? And the thing is, it's like, what is it called? So for that, for 24 karat gold chain being like, you know, uh, $1,000 to make, you have to think about the labor, the design, and all that other stuff, the quality. So for the 18 karat gold chain at 75% gold, it would probably be around $700 or $800 to make, and then the labor that's put in, the design, and all that stuff. But me, I'm still selling it for lower than the average market price, you know what I mean? Like, people don't believe me, but it's like, really, look at the market, tell me what you see. It's like, all you see is these expensive-ass chains that are not really worth shit, you know what I mean? And people want to say that diamonds are actually worth something. Look, diamonds are worse, and I can still buy a diamond for such a cheap price. I can buy a diamond ring with like a few inlaid diamonds, and only for like a hundred dollars, and sell it to you for like two hundred. Now it's like if you really want me to sell you diamonds, then fine, I'll sell you diamonds, and you can get you can stay stuck in the box and be brainwashed, huh? That's up to y'all. And I'll put up the I'll put on screen what I like about Moisner and why I say why I believe it's better than diamonds. This would, I'm gonna pause the video right here and you can look at it, you know what I mean? Just decide, you know what I mean? Okay, 
So other things being is I can also tell you what kind of jewelry should not turn your skin green. Like what metals don't turn your skin green. It's the base metals that, base metals have, if it's an alloy, then yeah, it might turn your skin green. If the gold plating is not like, if it's plated with like, what's it called, with chemicals, and it's not washed good, then the chemicals will definitely turn your skin green if it's not washed after they're done making the jewelry. Because some residue of the chemicals is left on the top layer, you know what I mean? Let me show you, let me give you an example. So I'll give you like, you know, an example. So whenever people make jewelry, they have to, you know, do the plating with chemicals sometimes. Some of them don't do chemicals, you know what I mean? If it does not have chemicals and it wears down, then your skin is not going to turn green, you know what I mean? But this ring here is not going to turn your skin green, guaranteed, because it is silver, platinum, and, eight, and 18 karat white gold. So this ring is really good. You can take a shower with this. You can wash your hands with it. Just make sure you don't drop it down the drain, you know what I mean? That's the only thing that you have to worry about. And so it's like... What's it called? Oh yeah, I didn't explain how about the, you know, gold plating. So, whenever they do gold plating, like the chemicals and stuff like that, there's always some sort of residue left on the outside, right? And once that touches your skin, your skin is going to turn green. So, that's why some of the jewelers wash their jewelry and clean it good before they ship it to you. That's also another reason why they polish it, you know what I mean? But a lot of the bad jewelers don't do that and they simply give it to you and your skin turns green regardless if it wears down or not. So it has to wear down, usually it has to wear down first to turn your skin green. But if it does not turn your skin green and it wear down already, then yeah, you're fine, you know what I mean? It's just gold plating, yeah? Just like, because a lot of people think that all gold plating is going to turn your skin green, but it's actually not right at all, it's not true. You know, there's electroplating, they didn't really use chemicals for that, they used electricity. Which means, how do, you, how do you leave a residue of electricity? You simply can't. And then, so, if it wears down, your skin shouldn't turn green unless it's fake electroplating, you know what I mean? And so, electroplating feels real, it looks real. Here, look, let me even show you. Here's a 10 karat gold chain. Well, 10 karat gold plated with electroplating. And look, you literally can barely even tell a difference, huh? It's like, this one is only a little bit of a darker color. This one actually might be a higher carat of gold. I don't actually know, I believe it's 10 karat though. But still, it's like, that's electroplated. It shouldn't turn your skin green. Now, if it's also PVD plated, PVD plated jewelry will not turn your skin green, guaranteed. It won't, it won't tarnish, it won't fade, it won't like, you know, it won't get, turn your skin green. It's waterproof. You can literally take a shower or wash your hands with that kind of, you know, electroplating stuff. Not electroplating, PVD plated. With PVD plating, you can wash your hands and do all that kind of stuff and your shit's gonna be fine. And PVD plating lasts a very, very long time. Like, I'm saying, like, if you, like, were to buy PVD plated jewelry from me, then it would probably last like three years at like average unless you keep it good unless you keep it at like you know if you get if you keep it in good condition yeah and so yeah what is it called you would say you were saying that my jewelry is not fake okay i would not say that it's fake or real but it definitely is real silver and real moissanite stones and all that stuff but the thing is People, to people, they think that diamonds are real. So I guess you could say my jewelry is not fake or real because fake is plastic and real is diamonds to people, but my shit is neutral. You know what I mean? You get what I mean? It's still silver. Silver is real silver, huh? And so, like, what is it called? You were saying that my jewelry was cheap, but I would rather say it's more, like, inexpensive. You get what I mean? And so, for me... A lot of my sellers, I like to negotiate with them so I can sell it, sell jewelry for such like unbelievably low prices. That's why some of my jewelry is just such a low price because I negotiate so very well. You know what I mean? See this ring here? I would have bought this for a lot more money than what what they actually gave it to me as, because that one I literally negotiated like crazy. You know? I even negotiated with one of my sellers that was selling me an FL Moissanite stone, which is the best clarity of Moissanite. And I negotiated with them to get it so very low that it shouldn't even be the price that it is. Like, I basically got it for free, you know what I mean? Like, that's how low it is. I didn't get it for free, but it basically is like I got it for free. And it's also still being shipped till, like, this day, you know what I mean? It's, you know, it recently just got shipped, huh? Expect it to come out with next month. I also have some new gloves coming in next month because, look. Actually, never mind, I'm not going to show you, but whatever. Um, what's it called? I still am reading the script though because it's like, it's like just so much to read, you know what I mean? It's just a long script that I read, you know, that I wrote. And so, people believe that if your jewelry is a higher price then it's better quality, which in reality, that's not true at all. Because I can sell you something that, like I said, that's PVD plated. Or, I could sell you something that's silver. Here, like, let me show you. Um, uh, let me see, which one is silver? 
Which one is silver that I can sell for, you know, a low price, huh? Uh, I don't have any silver. Still. Okay, I only have one in silver. But still, this one is, you know, $75. So that's pretty kind of, you know, it's like low. And so, same thing for the FL Moisten Irene. That's one also silver. So, yeah, it's pretty negotiated. It's like, I literally negotiate with all my sellers. I always try to get my prices low because I don't have that much money. You know what I mean? It's like, especially even if you don't, even if you do have money, it's still as best to negotiate. You know what I mean? You get a lot of jewelry for low prices. And people think that, oh, well, he's buying his jewelry from China. Not exactly. I do buy from some, some from China, some from America, some from different countries like Belgium. Because this ring here, though, this one is from Belgium. You know what I mean? This ring is from Belgium. Huh? And so, a lot of people say that that's a problem for me buying a jewelry from other countries. However, it really depends on your seller. Because I know so many good sellers. You know what I mean? And it's like, I really know them very well. Huh? And so, yeah, let me just look on, the, on this thing. Huh? But yeah, you also mentioned that I, stopped mar that I stopped marketing and whatever and how much money I made. And the thing is... I did stop marketing because the thing is, if I if I keep buying more products, it's kind of lame, you know what I mean? Unless I'm down bad getting the price low, like I did earlier. Because I just have over 20 products. It's too much for me to actually, you know, it's too many products for me to just keep, you know, buying and buying and buying. I should just keep my current stock, can't keep my current stock and then sell it, you know what I mean? And then I'll get more into the other jewelry, yeah? And then, so, like, what is it called? But yeah, my ads are also improving like pretty much most of the day, every day. Because if you compare my ads to my first ads, you can definitely see an improvement. So, in my first ads, I had some ugly background and whatnot. And now, look at my ads now. They're just white background, you know what I mean? They have, they have a white background instead of something that looks brownish background, yeah? It's a lot better than what I had before, you know what I mean? And just wait. In the future, I'm going to get like a, like a rotating thingy for the jewelry. And I already ordered some new gloves, some professional gloves, especially made for jewelry. So yeah, it, like you'll see, you'll see that in the in the future. You know what I mean? You'll see the gloves in the future. I also am planning on selling the gloves because I don't. I feel like I don't need all the gloves. I get twelve pairs, and that was the smallest package I could get. You know what I mean? And I got it for a really good price after I negotiated with that same seller. And so yeah, I negotiated with them, got the, got it for a low price. Got 12 pairs. I'm going to sell the gloves for, like, low price, too, yeah? Like, I'm probably going to sell probably, like, six of the pairs, maybe. Because I don't need all of them, of course. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah. But, what is it called? I'm still reading the script. I don't know. Did I mention about the haters wanting to say things about my jewelry, but they don't actually physically have the products? It's like, that's why I literally add reviews, so, like... Reviews are only able to be added if you buy something, you know what I mean? Because that is to avoid the false information, defamation, and all this hateful behavior. All that kind of stuff, you yeah? know? But the thing is, people think that Moisena is cheap, but it's really not, you know what I mean? People, I've heard, like, some idiots say that Cubiciconia is more expensive than Moisenite. But the thing is, if you, if your Moisen, if your Cubiciconia is more expensive than your Moisenite, you have been literally scammed, Okay. There's no way to actually say that you didn't get scammed because you pretty much did, okay? Moisenite is way, way better than, you know, Cubiciconia. If you hit Cubiciconia with a hammer, of course it's going to smash into bits. If you hit if you hit Moisenite with a hammer, it ain't going to break. You know what I mean? Just like a diamond, it won't break. They can both be hit with a hammer like a few times before breaking. And in case you don't believe me, you can look up a hammer test, huh? And people want to say that, you know, Moisenite is cheap, like I said, but it really isn't. You want to know why? Because if it is cheap, I want you to buy the million dollar Moisenite stone that I had to see on the internet. Oh wait, you probably can't because you're saying it's cheap, but it's really not. <laughs> so yeah, you might be saying, well, why is that Moisenite stone a million dollars? Well, I'll put it on screen. I'll put two of them on screen. So there's one that's uh, 100 carats. This is like 500,000. This one, the second one, is like 200 carats, which is a million dollars. And yeah, these, these actually exist. You know what I mean? These stones actually exist. These stones are so big. You know what I mean? I want to pause the video here and put it on screen for you to see.
Okay, so then Nikki says that I'm doing way more than y'all, because I really am. It's like, I try to tell y'all, I try to get y'all to open your eyes and stop y'all from being brainwashed and whatnot. And I try to tell y'all, don't sleep on me. But you know what y'all do? Y'all ignore everything I say. Y'all ignore whatever I say, literally, huh? It's like, y'all literally don't deserve to be set free. You deserve to be stuck in the box, huh? Like he said, you deserve to be stuck in the box. You know like those wind-up clown boxes? That's basically what you are. You come out the box now and then. You come out the box now and then just to come out, come out to me and hate on me. Because you're the clown in the box. You're the clown jack in the box, huh? Just being for real with y'all, huh? And then so it's like... It's like, if you go and you ask like a relevant... Like somebody who's verified, like a real, like a verified like seller for jewelry, they're gonna tell you that diamonds are better. But if you ask somebody who's irrelevant, like me, they're gonna say, "Hey, you know, Moissanite's better, huh?" Because it really is. It's just the industry trying to get you to buy diamonds because it's a scam. And I believe that they even make burner accounts just so that way they can go and spam on people's pages and then get them get get you to buy their diamonds. Meanwhile, they're absolutely garbage, huh? And so, yeah. It's like, what is it called? They really just do that for, you know, gemstones video, like advertisements that are advertising things that aren't diamonds, that kind of thing. But the thing is, if you, like, I think that di diamonds and moissanite, there is really no difference besides the sparkle and everything like that. The sparkle and the hardness is like, there's just so many differences in it, but the only difference is that moissanite is better, like I said. I'll put, I think I, I, I think I already put up the information on moissanite, but I'll put it up again in case I didn't. You know what I mean? But it's like, if you take a moissanite to a jewelry store and, you know, you don't tell them it's moissanite, they're not going to know until they test it because it's literally identical to a diamond. You cannot prove me wrong on that. Now, if your moissanite does not look like a diamond, then that's because you got scammed. You know, you need to get a diamond tester. If your diamond tester does not say moissanite for that diamond, for that, you know, moissanite stone, then yeah, you got scammed. If it does not even look like moissanite because it's cloudy, then yeah, you also got scammed. Because not all, not all moissanite stones are cloudy. Just like diamonds, not all stones are cloudy. Not all stones are clear either, you know? You know what I mean? It really depends on your clarity, you know? And so, it's like, but, what is it called? But yeah, people say that I'm ugly and that they're not going to buy from me and whatever. But it's like, think about it this. Why does it matter if I'm ugly? You know what I mean? You're not buying me. I'm not the product. I'm the middleman, you know what I mean? And that's basically what I am, the middleman. Dropshippers are not middlemen. They're just, you know, lazy people who just try to make money out of nowhere. But me, I'm a middleman, so I know what sellers are good. I also know, like, all kinds of things, you know what I mean? Middleman jewelry businesses, or any type of middleman business, is called a BNR, which is called, which is an abbreviation for buy and resell, also known as BAR, you know what I mean? Which, I do that. You can call it BAR, BNR, middleman, I don't really care, it's just the exact same thing, yeah? And so, what is it called? But yeah, y'all say that me being ugly soon, it's not going to help, but it's like, really, I don't really care. You know what I mean? I've still made money, and my customers are still pretty happy. And plus, it's like, me, with the way I look like, does not change the quality of the jewelry. It just does nothing, you know what I mean? My face stays the way I like it to be. You know what I mean? I'm still happy with myself. It's like, people tell you to love yourself, and I do, you know? There's even a question for people, you know? Never mind, I'm not going to mention that, that's kind of sus, but still. Um, <laughs> yeah. But unlike other brands, they purposely blur their camera or use CapCut to make fake sparkles in their ads. And that is just honestly, honestly ridiculous. Because whenever you see my ads, you can tell they're not edited with any type of filters or effects or anything like that. And they're just straight up raw, you know what I mean? Like here, I'll even I'll record a video with all the jewelry that I have right now on the table. And I'll show y'all, you know what I mean? So yeah, unlike other jewelry brands, they use fake sparkles. But look at me, I actually have the real sparkles, you know what I mean? Because if it's fake sparkles, I wouldn't be able to zoom in and it would still not sparkle, you know what I mean? Like I can zoom in and it still sparkles, that kind of thing, see what I mean? That's how good my jewelry is, I actually have real sparkles, huh? See what I mean? It's like even for this one, I can zoom in, you know? But people think that these sparkles are fake and whatever. But it's like, really, look at it. It's like you can't tell. It's like, damn, if you can't tell, there's something wrong with your brain, you know? Like, really, that's for people who think that this is, like, you know, really edited. So y'all can see how sparkly it is. Because holy fuck, it is sparkly. It really is, huh? And so, yeah. What is it called? I'm trying to see what else I had... To say, because like the thing is, I could have put this in like you know 
an entire AI thingy just so it could be read for y'all because it's just so much for me to read. It's hard to read, you know what I mean? It's a lot to read. Like, I wrote a whole ass paragraph, huh? And yeah, I like, I've been recording this for 30 minutes already, you know? It's like, it's just so much of a long script that I had to write. You know what I mean? I'm trying to see what else I have forgotten to say. Oh, yeah. Talking about being ugly. People say that, oh, well, my hair is greasy or whatever because it's shiny. But did you know that there's actually naturally shiny hair? Here, I'll even put that on the screen right here. Because people say that there's no such thing as shiny hair and being natural. You know, it actually really is. A lot of people just have naturally shiny hair like me. And I can't fix that. It even It's still shiny even out of the shower. So it's like, what do you want me to prove? I can't simply just tell y'all that I'm lying because I'm not. How do you admit to lying about something you're not lying about? But like, yeah, people think that the higher the price, the better quality, but that's actually not true. Because it's like, think about it as this. I know it seems a little bit different than what I'm relating to, but if you go to Burger King, for example, right? And you buy fifty, like $20 worth of food from Burger King, you're going to get a lot of food, you know what I mean? You could probably feed a lot of homeless people. But if you, if you like, what is it called, went to like a fancy restaurant, spent like $100 on food, you're going to get less than what Burger King gave you, you know? That's what I mean, because it's like, yeah, I'm measure, yeah, I'm like, you know, comparing quantity, but I'm comparing the prices because the price is, is what it is. You know what I mean? It's like, that's really what it is. It's about the prices, huh? And so, yeah. It's just, there's so much for me to keep going and talking about for. It's like, people don't know what I've been through. People think I'm just some average little kid who has been through absolutely nothing. And that whenever I mention somebody, something like my dad being dead or my stepdad being dead, people are like, he's just a liar. He's a little kid, this and that. A lot of people, people who want to brag about having money or something like that, these people aren't even, they don't even rich. They just want to flex money just to make you feel like bad or, you know what I mean? They just want to act hard. But in reality, they're broke. The people who flex money are broke. That's just what they're doing, you know what I mean? You know, it isn't really hard to simply go and go to the bank and buy a loan and say, hey, I'm going to buy a loan of $100,000 all in hundreds. And then I'm going to go ahead and flex on camera. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it back to the bank. That's really how easy it is. That's what I mean with these people. It's like, as much as I am, you know, getting a little bit off track and all this shit like that. It's like, really, that's how it is, you know? It's like, there's just so much to just talk about. But yeah. It's like, I got to edit this video too. It's like, you know, it's very long. It's 30, it's already 34 minutes long. It's like, I'm trying to remember what to tell y'all and what to tell y'all and what to speak about. It's just insane, you know what I mean? It's like, maybe if people like me talking this long for actually 30 minutes, maybe I should keep doing it. Maybe I should keep ranting, you know what I mean? And, and I even had talked to someone, like one of my friends, and he said I talk a lot, I talk too much and whatever. And then he said to me that I should write a book. And I was thinking, yeah, that actually does sound like a good idea, writing a book. Because I can write a book about my entire life until it actually gets better. And then whenever my life gets better, then I can sell it, you know what I mean? And then people can buy it. And then they'll be like, no wonder this guy was, you know, going through so much and whatever. It's yeah. just so much to talk about and so much. It's like, this video is probably going to be like 40 minutes after I finish editing it. But yeah, this is for the haters. This is for like, this last part I'm ending the video in. Thank you guys for watching. And the last clip that I'm editing, editing in the last part of the video is what I have to say for the haters. Anyways, guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Little bitch, shut the fuck up. Tell your best friend, shut the fuck up. Hey, little bitch, shut the fuck up. Tell your best friend, shut the fuck up.